Topic for today's video is tabs with a little different design. Added some more options and some content to display. The tabs can be switched seamlessly, but what's more interesting is that I found a way to create this without JavaScript, and you can do it too. You start by creating the container element. Next, add a radio button with name as option and ID as one. Then create a label for the radio button, inside which add a tab name. Temporarily, I am removing the background. Then add a tab content element. We will add the content later. Similar to the first option, add some more options as shown. This is the entire HTML structure. Now we will style it. Start by styling the container element by setting its width and height. We can see the width and height of the container. Then hide the radio buttons. Next, style the tab name element by setting the text color and font family. We can see that tabs are not horizontally aligned. Fix it by setting display flex for the container element. Next, set the height and background for the tab name element. Then set a padding and make sure to set box sizing to border box to avoid the overflow of the padding and set cursor to pointer. Now we will make these tabs clickable. For that, when the input checked, target the tab name element inside the label and set the background and text color as shown. We can see the text color and background color getting changed when the label is clicked. Then set the font size and font weight and set the border radius to top left and right corners. We can make this effect smoother by adding a transition of 0.25 seconds for the tab name element. Now we can see the tab switching smoothly. Next add some content inside the tab content element. Next style the tab content element by setting its position to absolute at top 50 pixels and left 0. As the height of the tab name element is 45 pixels, I have set the tab content at top 50 pixels. But we can see the content is not below the tab name elements, so fix it by setting position to relative for the container element. Now we can see the content is below the tab name elements. Then style the tab content by setting its text color, background color and font family, set a padding and box sizing to border box. Then set a border radius as shown. We can see that all the content elements are visible at a time. Fix it by setting initial opacity and Z index to zero. Next, when the input is checked, target the tab content element and set the opacity and Z index to 1. We can make this effect happen smoothly by adding a transition of 0.5 seconds for the tab content element. And you have your switching tabs element for your website ready. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.